five score years ago, a great American in whose symbolic shadow we stand today signed the Emancipation Proclamation. It came as a joyous daybreak to end the long night of their captivity. But 100 years later, the life of the Negro is still sadly crippled by the manacles of segregation and the chains of discrimination. America has given the Negro people a bad check, a check which has come back marked insufficient funds. But we refuse to believe that the bank of justice is bankrupt. So we've come to cash this check, a check that will give us upon demand the riches of freedom. Now is the time to make real the promises of democracy. Now is the time to make justice a reality for all of God's children. There will be neither rest nor tranquility in America until the Negro is granted his citizenship rights. Let us not seek to satisfy our thirst for freedom by drinking from the cup of bitterness and hatred. I have a dream. I have a dream. I have a dream that one day all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last.